blessed day guys and peace be upon you this morning so in this video we're going to learn how to configure ssh on a cisco route okay so you can remember the previous video we learned how to configure tenet on a cisco router and i will open google spreadsheet and let you know that today we're in the last part of number three okay all right configure ssh okay all right so i'll open uh, without any further ado I'll open uh, Google, uh, Notepad and I let few steps that, are, that we're going to follow to achieve this objective. The first step is always to draw in the topology, uh, decorate and comment. Second step, configure IP addresses to the router and the PCs. Make sure to configure default gateway on the computers. So we're going to use this network here to configure the router and the PCs. And before that, guys, I was forgetting what is SSH and what is the difference between SSH and Telnet. So SSH means in full means secure shell. Okay, it's a protocol that is used to securely uh, to securely log into the devices remotely. So the difference between SSH and Telnet is that in Telnet uh, the data or the traffic or the communication is not secure or is not encrypted but in ssh it's encrypted and you cannot read the you cannot read the content of the communication okay all right but in internet if you're using tools like wireshark to analyze the communication you will be able to read everything okay so let's configure the secure version of remote access protocol okay all right so the first step we as we've said ip addressing Okay, so let's go to this router and configure IP address to this interface. This interface is a, is a gig, gig zero zero. And the first thing to do to hit is still in a shutdown state. So let's turn it up. So we go here and say no and say uh, enable uh, config t. Uh, just a minute. Config t. Okay, then say uh, interface gig zero slash zero uh no shut turn it up you can see it has turned green now right then assign it ip address we're going to use this network to assign ip addresses to the devices okay so just say ip add to be 102.168.10.1 let it take the first ip address in that subnet okay third mask of 255.255.255.0 and you hit enter exit all right then to the computer so i go to this computer come to core desktop ip configuration and 102.168.10. Dot dot let's start from dot five okay i'll copy that and the sub the default gateway the default gateway of this lan here should be the ip address to the connecting routers interface ip address of this one okay the default gateway is like a, the door if you want to get out you have to use the door a room without any window you can only use the door to get outside okay all right so for you to get out the outside you must use this one as your door okay all right okay so i go here come here and say before gateway will be 10.1 then finally i come here and make this one dot six and the default gateway to be 10.1 right okay so the second step says the third steps the, the third step says test ping between the switch the the computers and the router so i try to ping ping 10.1 you see it's pinging that's all we needed that's all we needed that's all all right so i uh, go to the fourth step which says configure hostname enable password domain name username username and password on the routes okay these are the parameters that are required for us to remotely log into any device okay using telnet or ssh so let's start with hostname then enable password domain name then finally username and password okay so we go here and configure hostname hostname to be let's say um r1 ssh okay then enable password enable password is used to protect the privilege exec mode okay 
enable password to be i always like using cisco lowercase okay then ip domain name very very important because uh, you are managing device under your domain for example google.com cisco.com uh anything facebook.com things like that so just say ip domain name to be cisco.com i guess you cisco.com okay all right then finally finally we need to include a username and password because you cannot log to a, you cannot log into any device without a username and password so just say username uh use admin admin then password password i'll use cisco lowercase okay all right so these are very these are very very important during a uh, remote access okay all right so um, number five generate crypto keys using rsa with a key length of 1024 guys as we said ssh is a secure version that is used to uh, remotely log into devices and manage them so for that to be secure then there must be some aspect of encryption and uh, which kind of encryption are we going to use here it's asymmetric asymmetric using which algorithm rsa okay so we have to and provide the keys that will provide that kind of encryption to the data or the communication content okay how do we generate crypto keys we just say crypto key generate rsa then uh, you can query what to write or just hit enter okay you can just hit enter okay and you will be asked how many bits in the modulus length we've been asked here to use uh, to use 1024 length okay so just say 1024 and you hit enter right and now you can see ssh enable okay all right so let's proceed log into a line vty and make it use local database for authentication and finally allow only ssh so there's something very very important here we log into line vty 0 to 15 it's line vty that we're going to use to remotely access the devices okay all right so we have to make it to use the local database so what's the content of the local use the local database for authentication remember we have already configured a username and password here so this is what we're going to use the local database so we just tell this line that use local login uh, login to be to use local database and that's all then we finally allow only ssh how do we allow only ssh very simple just say transport input ssh and we hit end exit that's all and number seven enable ssh version 2 how do we enable ssh version 2 we just say ip ssh version 2 and we hit enter oh version 2 and we hit enter and finally we have been asked to test ssh using this command ssh hyphen l this is not one this is not i this is l hyphen l then that username that we configured and the ip address of the route very simple so I go to this computer here, come to command prompt and say ssh-l, then the username that we configured and the IP address of the router interface. Okay, all right. Then I hit enter. You can see I'm being asked password. It was Cisco. And we are now in R1 SSH enable uh password was cisco enable password and then config t and we can even change host name from here host name to be let's say uh pc1 pc1 r1 ssh okay all right so even if we try from this switch here from this computer i mean and we say ssh fnl and then admin the IP address was 10 1 and 2 and we enter password with Cisco. Cisco. And now, oh, sorry. I'll try to log in again. Password is Cisco. And now you can see I'm in PC1 R1 SSH. Okay. Alright. So thank you so much, guys. I believe this video has really helped you now to configure 
SSH and I'll remark that number three as done. So I believe uh, when we meet next, when we meet next, we'll be able to cover intervalian routing both on the router and layer three switch. Okay. Okay. So thank you so much. Uh, please subscribe to my channel, like this video, share with friends and drop a comment below. Thank you so much and let's see you again in the next class. Bye.